opportunity here. This is not um, you know, as, as, as sexy a subject as renewables or some of the design things, but it's critically important to get energy efficiency uh, into these islands. cover the base load and then you have to cover the peaking load. You know, at night uh, the hotels all open up and the lights are all on and it was an evening peak, which is what they tend to have there. Uh, so it's great in like New York City or Boston or Philadelphia, you have solar matching your peak load, but not necessarily so uh, down the aisle. Lighting, about 15%, 14%. Uh, this is sort of washing dishes and clothes. This is hot water for showers. And, you know, this is cooling load. Uh, that's about those four things. That's about half, more than half of the energy use. If you're familiar with conventional hydro, it uses a turbine that looks like this. It can be different sizes depending on the size of the flow. And you want to just shoot water down into it, they're called pressure turbines. They're small and they rotate very fast. And this is what drives conventional power plants. Huge problems, environmental problems with conventional hydro. On how can we use this power of water without the negative environmental impact? And what happens is like, sort of like an egg beater, if you're, you know those old egg beaters, right? Uh, as the water moves, that turns the blades the blades uh, go into a central shaft a generator, and then the power goes out. So the beauty of these is with the tide, the tide moves in one direction, and then it moves 180 degrees in the other direction, that, that these are unidirectional. Whether the water moves this way or that way, they only go in one direction because the uh, blades are shaped like an airplane. So uh, because they're oriented perpendicular to the flow, water presses against the outside, there's less pressure behind, and they begin to turn, just like an airplane when it takes off, right? because of the shape of the wind.